Welcome back to Laugh with Lucas, and today we're going to be reviewing another Munch Addict box. The snacks that we have are a high chew from a high chew. chew from Taiwan. It's peach flavored. So this is our Munch third Addicts. box. The third box. I recommend it. It's really. Next, we have the Tiki Gold Coconut. It's from Trinidad. The Rich Chocolate Bar with Coconut. And we have a pan Pandan Cake. Uh, let me see the front of that. Pandan Cake from... I don't even see that one. Uh, we don't know what this one it doesn't say where it's two of them. Have this two types. It doesn't say where it is. It is right here. The Philippines. A pandan cake from the Philippines. Our fourth one is a um, pot to eat pot to eat putty. It is a Korean cracker that combines the crunchiness of a cracker with the richness cheese flavor. And then we have a gummy. This is a gummy black licorice. Black licorice from Finland. It's a black licorice, black licorice cane gummy. Pipe. Cane. pipe. Oh, it's, it's a, a pipe. pipe. It's a pipe. Yeah. And then we have chips from. We have Chinese China. They're from China. They're New Orleans chicken wing chips. From China. New Orleans chicken wing chips. And then the last one that we have is a Fanta orange. From Japan. A Fanta orange from Japan. Which we have those in Kentucky. So the first one that we're going to try is the Pati. 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 Yeah. That's this one. The cheese flavored cracker. It says it's Korean cracker that combines the crunchiness of a cracker with a rich cheese flavor, creating an irresistible snack experience. So it's almost actually it's just a Ritz cracker. It's a Ritz cracker. But it's a Ritz cracker with cheese and crunchy. It Ritz tastes Ritz. like a Ritz cracker with cheese. Yeah, it tastes like the spray cheese. Yeah. They're not bad. Like a Ritz cracker with cheese whiz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one next. Mm -hmm. Tiki Gold, a rich coconut bar offering a tropical escape in every variety, every velvety coconut infused bite. Mm -hmm. That is coconut in it. It's looks like a coconut Kit Kat. It's a wafer, kind of like a Kit Kat. Tastes like coconut. I don't know if you can see the layers there. Um, yeah, tastes like coconut and chocolate. I don't it's like a little it dry. I don't like coconut. I do like coconut, but this one's a little dry. Do you want to try? Um, the next one is a pandan cake from the Philippines. I think that's going to be good. Can you save it? <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to hold off on that one because I think it's going to be good and we might need something that tastes good to wash out. So the we're going to get the black licorice. The new one. Let's. You might as well get the licorice over. It's going to be the hard taste in our mouth. It feels it. It's like, listen. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go spit that out? Yeah. So it's brown. It's terrible. And it stinks. It's a bold black licorice flavor candy shaped you, into a pipe if you from do Finland. A, if you do a Munch Addict box and you get this, just don't even try it. Just throw it away. If you like black licorice, I could see you going, ah, oh, this is okay. But just eating the outside. But if um, you eat it, is it worse than the black jelly beans? Yes. Yeah, it's a more bold it's black licorice flavor. You should try it. 
No, don't try it. The next okay. one we're gonna do is. We're gonna do the New Orleans. New Orleans chicken wing chips from China. New Orleans chicken wing. It's a crispy <laughs> noodle snack seasoned blend of zesty spice and chicken that will transport your taste buds to the vibrant streets of New Orleans. Do we? Do you eat it like that, or do you like? It, it looks like ramen noodles. Ramen. It's like yeah. ramen noodles. It's like uncooked ramen. It's messy, spicy. messy, but it's actually pretty no. good. But I feel like it would be good if you actually cooked it. Yeah, but you probably lose all the flavor. Yeah, it's not. It's pretty good. It's yeah, mid. The flavor is pretty good. The texture of the raw noodles. This is a high chew mix. I didn't like that one. Do the high chew or the cake and then the high chew? Um, hot chew. Hot chew. Uh, sugar candy chew and peach or grape, and it looks like we got peach. Mm -hmm. yeah, we got peach. I would like to try the grape flavor. Me too. I wonder if it's a white grape. Uh, it doesn't show it. It just says grape. It's from Taiwan. And this is our second high chews that oh. we've had. Our first box we had high chews from China. Yeah, these high chews, uh, those, those were yogurt. Yeah, those were yogurt. These are chews. not yogurt. Good. These are just peach. Just uh, rip it. Peach, normal. but the peach is just almost like a white peach. So that's what it's like um, with its wrapper. And then when you take it off. It looks like the same as last time. Yeah, it looks like a. That's what so it's it looks like, like a white peach. And it's white on the inside. It's chewy. It is called hachu. Yeah. Um. Tastes like peach rings. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a good palate cleanser after the. Uh, chicken ramen. <laughs> the ch chicken ramen and the black licorice. But if you eat it, it doesn't taste like just a regular peach. It tastes like peach gummies. Yep. Right, now. So that is a soft, rich cake in ube or Japanese cheesecake flavor. It looks like you got ube. It's squishy. Well, that is a cake. It's not cheesecake. Mm. It's um very dry. Yeah, very, very dry. It tastes like what's that one cake? It's like bread. Like angel food cake? It tastes like angel food cake. It does have an angel food cake texture. Just, it's it just, just very dry. When you bite it, it just falls apart and then some of it stays together. It's, not, it's okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Um it's Without just, something to drink, it would be bad. A sponge cake for sure. Yeah. So the next one is a Fanta from um, Japan. This one opened right this time. Yeah. Oh, it's smoking. So it looks a little lighter than it looks Fanta like lemon. orange. It looks like lemon. What we've tried in the past is the foreign soft drinks have different sugar in them. So it tastes a little bit different because of the sugar. My eyes are watering. It tastes like I'm trying in there. It's a less sweetened Fanta orange. It tastes like sun kissed zero. In here, there's way more sugar. Make sure I was water. Well, that would be carbonation. Yeah, yeah. water in here. Um, yeah, I would say it's kind of like a. It's like a diet sun kiss, really. Yeah. Or, or a diet sun kiss. Diet Fanta. Tastes like Fanta, just. Not more as sweet. Fanta. I actually kind of like it better. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't had the other Fanta. 
Wow. So what was your favorite thing? Probably, my favorite thing was probably the, this box wasn't too good. It was probably the Fanta and my favorite food was either the, the Kiki. Really? The coconut? Candy? Or the high chew. I think mine was the high chew. Mine was definitely the high chew. Um, that was my favorite. Yeah. That was my favorite. The, um... The Fanta was a good was a good drink, but we mm -hmm. expected it to be better. The black licorice was terrible. Don't try it if you the get it. The cheese whiz crackers just taste like Cases normal cheese like and crackers. Rich. And the the flavor of the ramen ramen chip thing is a good flavor, but, but if it would have been on a potato chip instead of ramen, it would have been better. If you haven't had plain ramen, it doesn't taste too good. Yeah. So this month, our snacks are from China, Philippines, Finland, Trinidad, Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. We have a different, like every single snack was from a different place this month. Yep. This one, I would give this one a six. I go with a four. I would probably go with a three. Actually, maybe a five because the black licorice was terrible. <laughs> I, you want to try it again? No. No. I'm good. No. It can go in the garbage. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorites. Cool. Thanks right. for yeah. watching. Hopefully and we get another box here in a few weeks. Yep. And come back next time. Bye.